Now living where I do in rainy old England and being surrounded by woodland, having any sort of shed or cabin is always tricky because the amount of water that lands on top of the roof through rain and snow and hail and all other sorts of precipitation ends up dropping down, hitting the ground near the shed, splashing up and rotting the bottom of the shed. So the best way to avoid that is to put some sort of guttering system on. As you can see, we've installed a gutter system on here. But I've gone one stage further. The guttering system stops all the splashback on the shed, but this brush in here stops the leaves from blocking the gutter. And that's what I'm going to quickly show you today. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but there is a slightly darker patch all the way along here. The water used to land here and splash up. So the bottom of the cabin was always wet in damp weather. And that would be no good because obviously it would rot very, very quickly. There's our gutter, which would normally be filled with leaves. You can see how many leaves have come down just in the last few days. And when that brush is fitted, the majority of the leaves just blow straight off. Some of the pine needles get stuck in the brush, but it always ensures that the water can travel down the gutter properly. That's it there. It's had to be held in with clips because it's very, very springy. And that's a hedgehog brush. Basically just sits inside your gutter and stops the leaves from clogging it up. So I've got a gutter on both sides of the shed, feeding into one running along the back, which in turn feeds down here under the ground. And it actually comes out underneath this very cluttered area here um, into the huge aquarium that I've got sitting underneath the cabin. That's it there, the cabin sits up on stilts, so it's, it's raised up off the ground. And you probably won't be able to see there, but there's, there's basically a couple of overflow pipes in here. So the water that comes down off all the gutters fills this up, overflows, runs down there, under the ground, and it ends up in the pond somewhere under here. I forget, it comes out about there. So that's an awesome way of keeping the bottom of the shed dry and diverting the water well away from the roof, well away from the sides, basically just pushing it all into the pond and helping to keep the pond topped up. Now because that worked so well on the cabin, I decided to put the brush all the way around the guttering of the house as well because we do have a few problem areas. Uh, somewhere behind me there, there's a low point and when it gets really clogged up with leaves, it overflows there right in front of one of the windows and it looks absolutely awful, splashes all over the house. Since I put the brush in, I haven't had that problem. The water has been able to flow freely right through the gutters and down the downcomer into the drains where it should be going. I don't know whether you can see, but this particular brush isn't as bushy. There's a few flat areas on it. And that's because the brush that's all the way around the house is actually a fake version of the hedgehog brush. It came and it wasn't as bushy and it was packed much tighter. Some of it squashed into like an oval shape. Hopefully it'll spring back out again, but it's, it definitely hasn't filled that area between the roof and where the gutter is, as well as the proper hedgehog brush. So if you are gonna go for this idea, I would say get the hedgehog brush. I went for the brush instead of like a flat mesh because we get a lot of pine needles the pine needles would have just landed straight in that mesh and the mesh would have had to be taken out. With the brush, I can grab a hold of one end, pull it, and I've actually joined all the bits together so the whole lot comes out in one go with the leaves. And then I just clean out what's left in the gutter, put it back in. It's an excellent system, relatively inexpensive as well. So if like me, you're surrounded by woods or you have problems with leaves clogging up your gutters, give it a go. I'll put the link to it in the video description. Thanks for watching, see you next time.